All right, this is Pastor John David, and we are in Proverbs chapter 23 today. We are going through and reading through one chapter of Proverbs every day for the day of the month. So if today is the is the 23rd, which it is, then you're going to read chapter 23 of Proverbs. There's 31 Proverbs, and there's 31 days of the month, usually. Some days, some months there aren't. But normally there's 31 days, so you get to read all of Proverbs every month, one day, one chapter at a time, one day at a time. It's a great practice. My wife has been doing it for years. I've been doing it for years. And, and hopefully some of it will sink in, right? Hopefully we'll start doing what the Bible teaches us and the, the wisdom that we get out of Proverbs. And so we're in chapter 23. We're doing our SOAP method. And I've been just reminding you every day just to get in your brain. You look at the scripture, observe it. You know, what is it that you see in there? What what's different? What are contrast things that are contrasting? What are things that complement each other? There's all kinds of things to look for. Then you apply it. You seek for a personal application. Like, what do you want me to do with this, God? And then the last thing is pray. You pray. You talk to the Lord. Just talk to Him about whatever it is that you're studying, what it is He's teaching you, what it is you want to apply. So today, Proverbs 23, 12. This is my observation and application. Um, I want you to write your own, come up with what you're reading, and, and do it on your own. So, But Proverbs 23, 12 says, Apply your heart to instruction and your ears to words of knowledge. Now, when you just read that real, you know, up front, yeah, yeah, okay. Apply your heart to instruction, yeah, your ears to words of knowledge. Sounds good. I'll do that. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. How do I live that out? Uh, and so that's what we want to observe a little bit right now. It says, apply your heart to instruction. So your heart is your inner you. It's the inside of you. And it says, apply it. Like, make an effort to seek out instruction and apply it. You see what happens? If we don't apply our hearts, if we don't apply our energy to something, we just let life happen to us. So we wake up and then, oh, I'm, you know, I got to go to work. I better get up. I got to have my coffee. And I just routinely do what I got to do without thinking about it, without seeking instruction, without saying, hey, maybe there's a better way. And instruction is that idea of finding a, a better way, finding instructions, a biblical instruction, or maybe just worldly wisdom that helps us in life. Um, you know, wise things, instructions for our life or our job. Uh, some people might call that best practices, right? When you have a job and you're, you learn that other businesses are doing better than yours and you find out why and you go, oh, well, I could do that. And you start applying it to your own. So that's instruction. That's learning. And so we should always be applying our hearts to instruction. We should become people who want to learn and grow and not just be comfortable with where we're at and what we have but learn so we could grow and develop even more and better. And then it says, apply your heart uh, to instruction and your ears to words of knowledge. And there's that, that, that thought of what are you listening to? What are you putting into your gates, your eye gate and your ear gate and, and even your mouth? Like, what are you eating? Uh, that's, you know, your food intake. But also, what's your verbal intake what are you taking in what are you looking at those are all things that um the bible talks about and i think this is literal like put your ears to actually literally listening to words of knowledge whether you're listening to the proverbs or you're listening to a speaker or you're listening to a pastor in a sermon or you're listening to this video apply your ears literally to knowledge seek out knowledge and understanding and instruction so to summarize you know, always be a learner right God wants us to keep learning. You never stop learning. You never stop learning. Uh, one one person has said, the minute you stop, stop learning, you're dead, right? You just always should be learning. Get instructed, like seek instruction. Don't think, well, you know, I got it all figured out and know what I'm doing. Like, hey, learn new ways, learn better ways, seek best practices, seek instruction from others who are succeeding more than you and whatever it is you want to learn or grow in. And then literally just listen to wisdom. Literally seek out people who will speak wisdom. And don't listen to foolishness. I mean, I think that speaks to a lot of our entertainment, music maybe that we put into our ears. Uh, what are the words that we're listening to? What are the messages that we're taking in? That becomes part of our heart. It gets um, filtered through our hearts and into our being. And, you know, there's a challenge there to go, hey, what, what am I listening to? What am I... 
Am I listening to wisdom and seeking and applying my heart to wisdom and instruction, to learn, to develop? Or am I just kind of lazing through life, thinking that thing, good things happen to me just by chance? And maybe hopefully tomorrow will be better if I just maybe my lucky stars align. Uh, and a lot of people live their life like that. Just, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Whatever happens, happens. The first person to call me, that's what I'm going to go do. Whatever they say. And, and we have no vision. We have no purpose. We have no instruction. We have no wisdom that we're following a path. So this is huge. This is a huge passage and very huge idea. Um, instruction is huge. Wisdom is huge. What you listen to is huge. Uh, applying your heart, what you focus on, those are all huge, huge thoughts. And I pray that I could apply this in my life every day. And I hope you find an application for yourself as well. I'd love to hear what you're reading. Let me know what you're reading in Proverbs. Put it on Facebook. Put it on uh, whatever. Make a video out of it yourself. Put it on YouTube. Who knows? Let people know what what you're taking in and learning and what you're going to apply in your life. And seek for prayer, right? Let's pray for one another as we go through this journey. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be back tomorrow for Proverbs chapter 24. God bless you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.